Hello my friends, I've started building up the new release, re-release of the Dragon Panzer IV F, which is the F1, or you know, the original production of it before they installed the L43, I do believe. Now I've started building it up here. I'm very impressed with um, how accurate it is to the actual, you know, features of the F production run. See here, this part there, that's very F1-ish. That sort of um, bolt plate they've got there. But that seems to be more accurate than the actual picture on the box because it was very bulky like that. Now I've seen in the photos, it's got the correct little caps there. F1 started using these idlers. And then we've got the um, correct rear, um, what do you, what do you call it, mudguard fender thingy there, which is really cool. They've got all this right under here. So it's coming up really good. Those tracks are really easy to put on. Their new magic tracks are really good. You just shake them out of the bags, put them together, glue them up and wrap them around. It's really easy. Doesn't take much time at all. And these front plates are really nice as well. Really coming along very well. Very impressed with the F1. I'm going to turn it into a Hungarian one though. But you get heaps of options. Like they put in like 10 different tanks you can do. You can even make a Soviet one. Captured one. And then you've got some Africa Core. But you've got a lot of Russian ones. Uh, what is it? The 5th Panzer Division. You know, there's some other Panzer Divisions. I can't remember that one exactly. Then you've got that one. That's a part of 5th Panzer. Gross Deutschland. You get a metal little barrel with it. Which is really good, actually. There it goes. Really cool. You get this little photo etch sheet. One piece turret, a lot easier to build than the mini art ones. <laughs> and yeah, you get this as well, but you've got to build up the side parts. No interior detail, and then it's got that little thing there to put the front edge on. So with these dragon ones, it is really easy to get them square and accurate because they do put a lot of guides like that. It's a really cool little kit. I'm also building up a Ukrainian village house for one of my dioramas. Still working on those. I've got the paint job for the Matilda. That's coming along, so I've repainted this. I'll show you. Just move these. So we've repainted the Matilda tank. It's got its little turret. And that looks a lot better with that paint job there put some older decals on but I made a mistake there I put a red decal on green which it should be on white so that's a bit of a mistake but we're always allowed to make one mistake aren't we but it's come up a lot better so all I've done is spray painted it um, painted the details I want different in a very dark brown and then I've given it a very dark brown filter and that's all I've done so far also before I repainted it you know I added some extra details like I added some wires to that i added a an antenna just little details like you know some wires to the lights and all that kind of stuff and also i retextured the tamiya texture to make it look a bit better i find tamiya looks a bit toyish but it's starting to look good now and the yag pans is coming along very well this is also by dragon so I've got it painted up and all that, so the top coat's done. Just now it's starting to pick off all the um, liquid mask that I put on to get the chipping. And now the next step is I'm just going to start to paint the details in a, in, a, um, in a light black, a NATO black. Just sort of start to paint up the details, so re-change the tracks to black, put some 
black on the tires, blacken up all the tools or the tires. So just um, prime everything up. I haven't added any filters or anything, so it's very raw. It's very light and all that kind of stuff. But you want to paint it light because a lot of your filters and oils will darken it back up again. Alright my friends, it's good to speak to you and I'll speak to you again soon.